Welcome to Bible 180, Ruth. Ruth takes place during the time when everyone was judging for themselves what was right and wrong, and people were acting ruthlessly. I'm not joshing you. However, Ruth is a ray of sunshine and human decency. The story begins with Elimelech and his wife Naomi and their two sons who moved to Moab because there is a famine in Judah. While there, the two sons marry Moabite women. Tragically, both Eli and his sons die, and Naomi decides to move back to Israel. One daughter-in-law stays behind, returning to Moab and the Moabite gods. The other, Ruth, shows great loyalty, telling Naomi, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. So the two widows return to Naomi's hometown of Bethlehem. Since they no longer have an inheritance or home, they must rely on the younger Ruth collecting leftover grain from other farmers' fields. Ruth finds a farmer who follows the Torah and doesn't collect all his barley. After noticing Ruth's hard work and hearing her story, he instructs his workers to leave her extra. Ruth relays his kindness to Naomi, and Naomi rejoices not only because of his kindness, but also because Boaz is their kinsman redeemer, which means he's one of the safeguards that Yahweh established to make sure that no widow was left penniless or without inheritance, which would mean they were basically without any future for them or their descendants. Still, remember, we're in the time of the judges, so nothing can be taken for granted. Thankfully, Boaz redeems Ruth and he marries her gladly. He's attracted to Ruth's loyalty and her hard work. Boaz makes the official announcement to the elders and Ruth and Naomi rejoice. Ruth and Naomi now have a hope and a future for them and their kids and their grandkids. Some girl power, the women of Bethlehem tell Naomi that Ruth is worth more than seven sons of Israel. This comment foreshadows Ruth's great grandson, an unimpressive lad who is nonetheless proclaimed by God to be worth more than his seven older brothers. The family line of our Savior continues. Ruth is loyal, faithful, and hardworking. We see that even as God's people as a whole are failing miserably in judges, God is working through faithful and often unlikely individuals. God's rarely mentioned in this story, and that's on purpose, because God is working behind the scenes, both to provide for his people who are faithful and to simultaneously carry out his plan of salvation for the broken world that Ruth and Naomi live in. It turns out that God's plan is actually more effective in the life of two widows, including an immigrant outsider and a ho-hum farmer, than it is in all the impressive and daring heroes of Judges. Loyalty in the midst of suffering is often the key to God's plan of salvation, as Jesus will demonstrate and the apostles will preach.